Speaker 4, Vaughan Woodbridge. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'll be splitting my time today with the, uh, my honourable colleague from the uh, riding of Vancouver Sunshine Coast, Sea to Sky Highway. Monsieur le Président, c'est avec grand plaisir que je prends la parole au sujet du projet de loi C-74, la loi d'exécution du budget la LUB est fondée sur le budget de 2018, excusez-moi, du gouvernement. Est affaire qui vise à renforcer la classe moyenne et est affaire de sorte que tous les Canadiens aient la compétence et les possibilités de réussir. De réussir. Budget 2018, appropriately titled Equality plus Growth, a strong middle class vision, is a statement which continues to build upon the solid foundation laid out in our government's prior two budgets. Our economy, Mr. Speaker, is strong, and the future for our country and for all Canadians is bright. Our progress as a government over the last two and a half years is something that we can all be proud of. Hardworking Canadians, including those in my riding of Vaughan Woodbridge, are taking risks, investing in their communities and in their businesses. Due to their efforts, over 500,000 net new jobs have been created, an overwhelming majority of which are full-time. Notre taux de chômage est inférieur à 6%, ce qui représente le taux le plus bas en 40 ans et en raison de la basse des impôts de destinés à la classe moyenne. 9 millions de Canadiens payent moins d'impôts. Sur un période de 5 ans, cela représentera un logement fiscal de plus de 20 milliards de dollars pour les familles canadiennes. Mr. Speaker, our government has ambitiously completed historic and progressive trade deals, including CETA, which will create thousands of good middle-class jobs for Canadians, will strengthen economic relations, and will allow Canadian companies unlimited access to over 500 million consumers. Monsieur le Président, on place les intérêts de la classe moyenne au centre de nos discussions commerciales, les entreprises canadiennes et l'économie du Canada. In Tehran, the advantage tangible, tangible. Excuse me. We have put in, we've also put in place an infrastructure plan that invests billions in public transit, so commuters in my riding of Vaughan Woodbridge can get home sooner to their families. This, we can see, Mr. Speaker, is real tangible progress for all Canadians. Notre vision est celle qui renforce le tissu social du Canada, équilibre le désir d'une économie forte. Tout en mettant en place des mesures à long terme pour un environnement sain. C'est là qu'on prend une terrification pan-canadienne de carbone qui est une mesure importante, continuons dans le projet de loi C-74. Monsieur le Président, chaque province déterminera comment dépenser le fonds provenant de la terrification de carbone. C'est la bonne, bonne façon de procéder. Mr. Speaker, I do wish to stress that all measures that all measures in budget 2018 and laid out in bill c74 in my view only further strengthen our fiscal position as an economist and someone with over two decades of experience in the private sector i have seen and experienced the ups and downs of the global economy including the 2008 global financial crisis and before that took the technology bubble and how important it is to maintain a strong fiscal framework je suis fier de affirmer que notre plan prévoit une dénomination graduelle du réseau de la dette fédérale au PIB. Selon le FMI, le Canada a le plus faible réseau de la dette nette au PIB parmi les pays du G7. Mr. Speaker, we have looked at Bill C-74 on a larger scale, so, we don't, so why don't we look at it how the measures we have laid out in this bill will directly affect Canadians in their day-to-day -day life. So let's examine the Canada Child Benefit. In my riding of Vaughan Woodbridge, the CCB is assisting thousands of families. Mr. Speaker, the number speaks for themselves. The numbers speak for themselves. In one year alone, CCB payments benefited 19,400 children in my wonderful riding, with approximately 10,400 payments, an average tax-free payment, yes, tax-free payment, of $5,400. This is approximately $59 million that is delivered tax-free to families in Vaughan, Vaughan Woodbridge, and yes, to the 337 other ridings in Canada. Mr. Speaker, this is money which will assist a family with paying for their kids' sports, clothes, or can help save for their children's future. The projet de loi C-74 indirectera la location canadienne pour enfants à compter de juillet 2018. Soit deux ans plus tôt que prévu afin que la famille puisse 
faire face au coût à la veille de l'éducation des enfants. On estime que cette mesure fournira un soutien supplémentaire de 2,1 milliards de dollars aux familles de l'Ontario sous le monde jusqu'en 2022-2023. Monsieur le Président, c'est le leadership que les Canadiens attendaient de notre gouvernement. Aujourd'hui, la AS est des millions de familles et des centaines de milliers d'enfants à sortir de la pauvreté partout au pays. Partout au pays. These measures not the only not the only putting more money in the pockets of numerous Canadian families, but they will also positively affect business owners across the country. In my riding of Vaughan Woodbridge, the city of Vaughan is, is home to over 11,000 small and medium-sized businesses, employing more than 200,000 people, and I'm proud to say the city of Vaughan is the largest employment area in all of York region. My riding is home to many businesses, from the large multinational companies like FedEx and Home Depot, to many family-run businesses, including Vision Enterprises, Quality Cheese Inc., Decores Furniture Manufacturers, to all. Family-run bakeries, bakeries, which I must say, I frequent all too often. When I, when I am home, my family and I enjoy visiting our favorites, like Sweet Boutique, La Strada Bakery, and St. Philip's Bakery, just to name only a few. Grâce au projet de loi C-74, nous renforcerons nos entreprises en réduction Notre taux d'imposition des petites entreprises à 10% a compté de 1 janvier 2018 et à 9% a compté de 1 janvier 2019. Once fully implemented, Mr. Speaker, those hardworking small business owners will see a tax reduction of up to $7,500 annually. This measure is a cumulative tax reduction of nearly $3 billion over the next five years in the pockets of hardworking Canadians across this country. Notre gouvernement a entrepris une solide consultation pour assurer que les entrepreneurs puissent continuer de croître et d'investir dans leur entreprise, mais aussi pour assurer que tous les Canadiens, tous les Canadiens payent le, leur juste part d'impôt et que l'économie fonctionne pour tous les Canadiens. I know this is critically important for the many successful private business owners in my riding of Vaughan Woodbridge, who are involved in various industries from advanced manufacturing, high-tech, construction, and the food and beverage sector. I have met with many of these hardworking large, medium, and small business owners, some employing 10 workers and others employing thousands. I am incredibly proud of their hard work and to, their, and to be their voice here in Ottawa. Our government will ensure that business owners can continue to invest in their businesses and also increase flexibility for owners to build a cushion of savings for personal circumstances, such as a maternity leave, or retirement. Toutefois, Monsieur le Président, nous limiterons les possibilités de report d'impôts liés aux investissements passifs dans nos so sociétés privées. On voit qu'une société privée a accumulé une somme importante de placements passifs, elle ne pourra plus utiliser le taux d'imposition des petites entreprises, une mesure qui célébrera moins de 3% des sociétés privées sous contrôle canadien. On environ 50 000 sociétés privées. As I noted in my introduction, Mr. Speaker, our government is committed to helping all Canadians succeed, and we are putting money in the pockets of those who need it most. In Budget 2018, our government makes a significant investment in boosting the earnings of low-income wor workers, with a near $1 billion investment in the Canadian workers' benefit. This investment will lift 70,000 Canadians out of poverty and encourage, as importantly, more people to join the labour force. With, this, with the legislative changes that will automatically enroll Canadians, an estimated 300,000 additional low-income workers, workers will receive the new CWB for the 2019 tax year. For example, an individual in my riding was earning $20,000 annually. Not a large sum for a lot of people, and some people uh, make that stretch a long way, will now receive an additional $500 from this measure, where previously no boost was received. Monsieur le Président, Président en tant que fils de parents, tant que fils de parents immigrants qui sont arrivés au Canada, on est important avec eux que le désir de travail et, et de créer un milieu à venir pour leur famille. Je sais que l'allocation canadienne pour le travail fera une réelle différence pour des milieux the travailleur Canadian. I have only touched upon a merely a few things that Bill C-74 introduces, Mr. Speaker. The indexation of the Canada Child Benefit, the Canada Workers Benefit, 
and support for small businesses are all measures that will benefit millions of Canadians, Canadian workers and Canadian businesses from coast to coast to coast. These measures will lift tens of thousands of out of poverty, help families in raising their kids, encourage more folks to enter the labour force and allow business owners to invest more money to grow their businesses. These are real, tangible, positive outcomes that will be better, better the lives of Canadian families, business owners and our, and our economy. I am proud of Budget 2018 and what is in Bill C-74. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Questions and comments? Questions and commentaires?